more complicated polygons, I think uh, it's not included in basic gamma, but there's uh, 2D physics libraries that allow uh, computing collisions between you know, any arbitrary polygon and the same approach would work for that. It would just replace the circle po contains point with the polygon collision from the physics library. There is, I think it's Aether Physics. It's a part of Box2D physics library. There isn't a nice node set for the physics library yet, but even despite that, you can, you can still use it as the, just the .NET managed library and use the nodes itself. I've, I've tried it uh, a while ago and I had some, you know, circles falling down and colliding on some moving box and it worked fairly well. So it's just a few notes. It's the, the box 2D. It's a very nice API. So uh, you just, you just have some world and you, you're defining your world objects and then you can read out their, their parameters and you can render them, for instance, using Skia. I did that. Maybe you can show us. Yeah, it's the uh, etherphysics2d.net standard NuGet. Uh, I don't have it installed here, but I can install it. So this is uh, the etherphysics generating some scaling balls that are colliding with the box, and it's rendered in Skia. Um, the whole thing is, is this patch. It's there's. No, no special note set for the physics library, but it's still fairly usable, even like that. There's also some interesting particle fluid simulating effects and stuff like that. Maybe I will make it a bit less crazy. It's not working in an immutable fashion, so there's objects that when they get mutated, they just get changed because it's standard objects. So even a thing like this that doesn't have any output back in the world uh, has an effect on the physics objects, which I guess if there will be a note set, uh, it should kind of work around that, I, I think. Or I don't know, like how would you imagine some nice physics note set in, uh, in Gamma?